Hi, we're going to take a look at the SOPC Builder's newest tool for integrating your intellectual property into a custom component. The component editor was first introduced with Quarters 2 version 4.2 software. As a designer, one of your greatest challenges is how to distinguish your system from other standard processor based systems. The component editor will allow you to integrate your custom intellectual property into a customized component that can be easily added to your system or reused for future design systems by other designers. Let's take a look at the demo of the component editor. Here we're going to start off with the SOPC Builder system where we've already preloaded a NEOS2 processor based system. To add a design in, you would just click on the Create New Component and click on Add. To start off your design, all you need to do is first load in and load in an HDL file. This could be a Verilog or a VHDL design file. So we start off by clicking on Add HDL Files. And we select our Verilog files in our system. And it will take a moment to analyze these files for you. Once the component editor has analyzed your files, all you have to do is then select the top level module of your design and then advance to the Signals tab. On the Signals page, the tool is already analyzed and determined what type of interface you'll be using. In this case, we're using an Avalon slave interface design. But you also have the choice of choosing a master or slave type interface component. From here, it automatically determines what type of width your signals are, as well as the directions. From here, as a designer, all you have to do then is assign the signal type for the Avalon interface. For signals that are not part of the Avalon interface, you would assign it a type export. In this case, the pulse width modulator example we have will be exporting a pulse width modulated signal as an exported signal from your system. Next, you would advance to the Interfaces tabs. Here, you would assign your component name. In this case, we're looking at the Pulse Width Modulator, PWM. We're going to choose an Avalon Slave interface, but you also have the choice of choosing a Tri-State Slave or a Master Slave. Here, you'd also set the type of uh, memory interface you'll be choosing. In this case, we'll be using a registered native bus sizing. You also have the choice for memory design components to choose a dynamic one to allow you to choose widths of 8, 16, 32, or even up to 128. Once you've chosen your interface style, you would then be able to choose your timing controls for your slave component. You can update whether you have wait states or not. In this case, we don't need any wait states. And automatically, every time you make a change to your numbers, the waveforms below automatically update to your changes in your timing number. Once you've completed that, if your component requires software drivers, under the Software Files tab, you can add in register files, function prototypes, anything you need for your software driver components. Lastly, the Component Wizard allows you to publish your component and be able to make it available for future designs as well as other designers in your company. All you have to do is add your component name, choose a version number, and then assign it to a component group. In this case, I've assigned it to the, a custom user logic group. You also are able to edit your parameters from your HDL files. Now I'm going to click on Finish, and we'll look at the generated component. Now that we've finished editing our component, if we scroll down to our components list, under the user logic group, we can see our custom pulse width modulator generated module. To add this to your system, all you have to do is select your component and click Add. Select the parameters of your component.
and your component is automatically added to your system. And by defining the Avalon interface, the module is automatically connected up into your system quickly and easily. As a component now available in your component user logic group, this is a component that now is fully available to other designers by simply publishing this component. If you ever need to change your component, all you have to do is simply do a right click and go to Edit Component to ever open your component again for making any future changes. As you can see, the Component Editor allows you to integrate your own custom intellectual property into an easy-to-use component that can be reused in future designs, as well as used by other designers in your company for future projects.